Castro dynasty over in Cuba. Parliament elected Miguel Diaz-Canel as the country's new president. Vanessa Newman's with us, Asymmetrica president and the author of that book, Blood Profits. Mm -hmm. Okay, Vanessa. I hear you said <laughs> yes, that you are the author of that book. Okay. Now, this is a shift. It's a change. But is it really just more of the same? Uh, the answer is both, actually. So it'll be more of the same in the short term because Raul Castro is actually the greater ideological power behind the Castros. He's more the Puritan even than his brother Fidel. Uh, and so he's going to remain the president of the Politburo in 20, until 2021. And he really holds the reins on power. So they're offering this new face of Diaz Canel uh, to kind of offer this hope of a mild transition. But they've tried this before. I know Cuba fairly well, and, and I've, I've actually been there a couple of times. And, uh, you know, over the last few years, there was talk about Diaz Canel being the new guy. That was five years ago. And he was getting so popular, the Castro's kind of quashed him. Mm -hmm. Now they're bringing him back. But don't, don't make no mistake, he'll be on a short reign. And then let's see what happens in 2021. So no serious change for Cuba's economy, period. That's it. Uh, yeah, I really don't see it happening. He'll, he'll, he'll try and play a little bit of a game of try and give, a, you know, a little bit more money, control inflation, uh, rain, uh, you know, and, and see how it improves people's daily lives. But nothing substantive until 2021. OK, tell me about Venezuela, because I have to ask you the usual question, which I ask you every time. <laughs> no. How come Maduro is still there as the company, a country rather, utterly collapses I and oil production just keeps on going down? And that's the lifeblood of the country. Oh, wait, it keeps on going down. Not only that, there was sort of secretly signed at the dissolution of the oil company, there was issued a Gaceta Oficial signed very quietly. And I got sent the document last night saying, you know, that the PDVSA, the oil company, will actually cease to exist by order, which basically means I think that's actually a way to uh, for them not to pay their bills and to avoid all these lawsuits, because, of course, the lawsuits are mounting. And that's basically the end of the the end of the country. And Maduro's also been indicted by the legitimate government for, um, you know, for corruption under Odebrecht. They want to send them to prison the way they did to Lula in Brazil. But, you know... So, when's it, so come on, you've got to give her the end game here. I mean, this I, guy it, surely cannot last for they've got to years pick him up. to come. They've got to pick him up. It's got to be the military. So they've already called on the military to say, look, they've issued an arrest warrant. It's your duty to obey that. He's not your legitimate commander flip and, and take him out, you know, at least look, arrest him. Vanessa, but they're not, it's not happening. Oh, but there is a nasty feeling here that this could descend into civil war. Well, I could. I mean, we're trying to offer, you know, a, a, a way out that's bloodless. And this sort of arrest warrant and indictment by the internationally recognized National Assembly, Attorney General and Supreme Court in exile, all of which the international community has recognized as legitimate, is offering on a platter... We've done this. Please pick them up. Um, and if they don't, then there will be civil war. Oh, that's a nasty scenario. It we're get, is. We're getting close to the flashpoint. I just, just have that yes. feeling. And I've said this before, but we've I got know. that feeling. I think we're done with him in 2018. <sighs> Please. OK. <laughs> You're on videotape, and we'll check that one out. Exactly. Vanessa, thank you very much for being with us again. We appreciate it. Thanks very thank much. Thank you very much.